Hi, I am Isabella Allred, and you're watching The Main Issue, Wallace State Student News. Today, I am here with Donnie Wilson, the director of the Evelyn Burrow Museum here at Wallace State. And the new exhibit is the Society of Animal Artists, Art and the Animal, the 59th exhibition. Today, we will be walking around the exhibit and highlighting just a few of the many pieces that we have. Mr. Wilson, will you please tell us about this piece? This is a ram, and uh, as you can see, it's a great sculptor by Mick Doolinger. Uh, he's out of Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, this is on all bronze. It's on a wooden base. And it says it's, uh, it, it's the ultimate headbutt like a missile. That's what they're describing it as. So it, it is a unique piece. But uh, it's, this is a, a, a different type of uh, casting I've ever seen. But it's beautiful bronze. It is a very beautiful piece. One piece that really grabbed my attention when we first came to the museum was this one right here. Could you tell me a little bit more about it, Mr. Wilson? This is done by Lucrezia Baller, and uh, she's originally from Switzerland, but she lives in Tallahassee, Florida now. But what's so interesting about this, this is a covey of quail. Out of a single sheet of paper, she cut all of this out. Mm. You got to think about that with a pair of scissors. <laughs> a pair of scissors. These are dragonflies. It's amazing to really look up close at this piece. And you got to sit back and think how long it took her to master this craft. Mm. Uh, it's just amazing. I would lose my mind trying to do that. I think anybody would. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an absolutely beautiful piece. It is. It's a great piece. The next piece that we will be featuring is titled Gone Fishing. Can you tell us a little bit more about this piece? This is Sandy Graves. She's from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And this is a grizzly, and it's the gone fishing part of it is it's showing the inside of the grizzly with the fish swimming around. <laughs> this is bronze, and this is some Colorado rock that it's mounted on. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, it speaks for itself. There's not a lot I can tell you about the bronze other than you need to come look at it. It's just <laughs> fantastic. The next piece is a beach piece out of North Augusta, South Carolina. This piece is a piece from uh, Jeff Birchhill, and it's got a stingray on it. It's on a 200-pound, very heavy rock that he carved out of it. It's got a catfish, a moray eel, a starfish. And it's just, he left the stone as much as he could for the realism and then carved all this beautiful sculpture into the stone and polished it. It's a really great piece to come look at. It's a 200 pound stone. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> so Mr. Wilson, to my understanding, this is the heaviest piece in the museum. It is, very much so. It'll make your back hurt for a long time. This is, <laughs> this is made by Paul Reimer. He's from Maryland. And uh, I'm sure he had to cast this in pieces. And it's, when you find something that has this many layers to it, it makes it extremely hard for the artist to put something like this together without you seeing where they did. This is no exception, but it's a lot of bronze on this piece. <laughs> oh, I bet it was a hard time getting it in here. Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's a lot heavier than 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, gosh. So this is a very interesting piece, especially with how it is sitting. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, the way it's sitting on here is made by Roger Martin. And uh, Roger lives in North Carolina. And this is called a red fox. And it's bronze, and it's very heavy. Uh, it has, I had to build a template to even fit it on this box because it has rods that go down through it. But the way it's sitting, it looks like it would tilt that box over. But the way it's put together with this, the way the body's shaped, and the way the head's pulled, it balances itself on that box, and you don't have any worry of uh, tipping over. Well, that's brilliant. But it's a hammered. It looks like it's hammered. It's not. He, he, he poured it this way, but it looks like a hammered piece of bronze, which is unique. It's like they would have done it 
200 years ago. Once again, I'm Isabella Allred with the main issue, Wallace State Student News. Tune in next time. Thanks for watching.